You said that if someone plays a packet of tissue on a table, yes, you would ignore it. I will not respect it because it's a it's a cowardly way to re reserve a table. Hi everyone, welcome to our new episode of E Junkie Sam Cupping. And we are all in the National Day mood. It's coming up, and we are very happy to have this year's NDP song singer, Nathan Hartono, with us. He's going to join our show to talk about his song, how Singaporean he is, and his unforgettable Singaporean memories. So let's welcome Nathan Hartono. Hi Nathan, thank you for joining Hello. us today for our interview. Can you tell us more about your NDP song? Did you help with the creation? And the feel is very different, this yeah. year's song. So my involvement with the NDP song, when I was on board, the music director, Sydney Tan, was still looking for the right song. And we were playing it for a bunch of different options. When Everything I Am came into play, the lyrics were already written by a wonderful local musician named Joshua Wan. But the only thing I added to it was like vocal production stuff. So like background vocals and how like those vocal textures should like help to fill up the space. It's definitely a very different sounding song. And what was interesting was that when we first chose the song, it was before COVID really became a situation. But when we entered the production process, that was when news was starting to get pretty bad. Of course, no one could tell at the time that we were going to have such a strange version of NDP. But I think the idea was that we wanted the song to be personal. We wanted the song to be intimate. It just so happens that the way the year has shaped and the, <laughs> the way the year has happened, it is kind of perfect. Like what the song is and how it turned out is kind of perfect for the year that we've had. I don't think we need a song that is necessarily like very like rah, rah, <laughs> yay Singapore. There's a time and place for that. But I think this year, the main focus of of the National Day show is gratitude, gratefulness, just this very deep word of thanks to the people that have made this year possible. What does the song mean to you? Is there any particular part of the, the lyrics or the music video that appeals to you personally? I really liked the first lyric. It was the first sentence that kind of captured my imagination. It's a straight dialogue with somebody. Like you're saying, I want you to understand because of you, I am who I am. It's talking straight to you. It's not talking to Singapore as like a concept. It's talking to individuals. It's talking to people that have carried us through the year and made it tolerable. So for you personally then, in your real life, who would you look at in the face and say it's because of you that I am who I am? The, the quickest answer to that, I guess, would be my parents because they have like shaped so much of how I turned out. And also the freedoms that they gave me from a young age allowed me to pursue the things that I wanted to pursue. But in terms of like, the times that we're living in now. I want to say that to like every single delivery person that steps up to my door. I want to say that to like every single person that I see cleaning a public bathroom. You know, like people that we really did use to take for granted. If there's anything to be grateful for is that like this year has added so much empathy to like our daily perspective. When the public first knew that you were the singer for this year's NTP song, some people thought that you weren't Singaporean. Then you <laughs> came out and said that, yes, you did your NS, you know, you are Singaporean. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think about that? Um, like, it's a fair misunderstanding, I guess, because I don't have a traditional Chinese last name. I don't sound particularly Singaporean. <laughs> what I was very curious and like tickled by was the whole concept of like, is it completely necessary to be like, you know, confirm, stamp, chop Singaporean in order to be involved in something that celebrates the country. Like, what are the qualifiers, <laughs> if there are any? Like, do they have to have a pink IC? Do they have to have done NS? Or like, is it just the fact that you know the streets, you know the people, you breathe the air, um, you know where to go when you're feeling happy, lonely, sad? And since you grew up in Singapore, do you have any interesting Singaporean quirks? Whenever people try to ask like what is the quintessential Singaporean or what is the Singaporean like, it's very difficult to distill it into like, you know, actions or words because like, it's such a varied country. There's so many different kinds of people. I don't put tissue on tables though. I wouldn't want someone to like be deprived of a seat just because I left a tissue packet there. <laughs> um, same way how like if I see it, I'm not going to care. <laughs> I also don't like to queue. If I go to a hawker center, right, and I'm craving like chicken rice and stall A has like 50 people queuing and stall B has three, I'm gonna go to stall B 100% even if it's not that great. I just don't like to like wait for food. <laughs> You said that if someone plays a packet of tissue on a table, yes. you would ignore it. 
I will not respect it because it's a it's a cowardly way to re- reserve a table. <laughs> Have you gotten into trouble because of this? Did someone give you a dirty looks? Ayo, this guy ah, like that one ah, you know. I don't think so. I don't think anyone has called me out on it. No. What if it was like no. something of more value? Why don't you leave like your fancy water bottle there? Or why don't you leave like one of your shoes there? <laughs> why don't you leave like your, your bag over there to really stake your claim, you know? Some some do. Some do yeah. leave their bags. Uh, then honestly, I would respect that. If someone left their bag a bit, okay. <laughs> Okay, like they put their bag on the line, and I respect that. I will let you have that table. So, because we are talking to you about your NDP song, yeah. and so NDP song is a big part of every Singaporean growing up. I'm going to read you one line, and we're going to see if you know which song it is. Whew. Okay, try. Okay, okay. The first one is one of my favorites. Okay, this line is: "There is something down the road that we can strive for." Do you know this song? Uh oh, there is there something is... down the road that we can strive for. Okay, I I don't sing well, but it goes like, oh, there is something down the road that we can strive for. This was a song. Okay, this is a 1986 song. I did okay. not exist. Okay. <laughs> There's something this... down the road that we can strive for. I I I can't pull. Okay, you know, this is the. I think this is um one of the first few songs. Uh, Count on me, Singapore. That's in the chorus. Count uh, on me, Singapore. Oh, sorry, the one before. Me. This is way before. Oh uh, yeah. See, yeah, I don't yeah. know the verse. I don't know the verse to that song because every time I've had to sing it for whatever, it's always just the Count on me, Singapore. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give my best and more together, Singapore. Yeah. Okay, the next one, 1998. So. Super popular. I will always recall the city. Know every street and shore, home. I will always recall the city. Know every street and shore. This is home, truly. Oh, you are good. Last one. No. Okay, stars and crescent shine on me. Stars and crescent shine on me. Oh, it's the year two thousand. Is it no? See the moon and the stars. Look how far. Nope, it's not that one. Stars and crescent shine on me. That's... Stars and crescent shine on me makes us more than what we can be. Uh oh, what song is this? I don't think I know. Shine it. on me. That's a song. Yeah, and and I read one of the comments. It seems that it's popular but very underrated. Right. I feel like I've never heard that one. Or like it's not it's not often played for sure. Yes. It's not often played because there's a lot of there's a lot of like NDP songs that like just kind of disappeared. One of my favorites was um, Karine May's song for Singapore. Oh, yeah, I really like that one, but I yes. never hear it anymore. I never hear it anywhere. I'm like, why? Ah, uh? it was it was like a solid song. I don't know what happened to it. And she sang it really well. She has a wonderful yeah. voice. Yeah. Thank you so much, Nathan, for joining us today. So thank you. And good luck for your new music coming up. Thank you very much. Okay, See thank you. you. Thanks. Bye bye. Interviewing Nathan Hatono was quite fun. I didn't know that he'll be this cool and chill. And the part about how he would totally disregard the tissue paper on the table—that is wise, like you know. So if anybody you happen to see him over there, ah, don't give him the stink eye, lah. Just smile and invite him to join you on the table, or you just plonk yourself down and sit with him, okay? So he's really nice. If you have enjoyed our video, give it a like and share, and check out our other E Junkies episodes. This video will be uploaded onto our social media platforms. For the full version of our interview with Nathan Hatono, go on down to our podcast on Spotify. Asia One wishes all of you a wonderful National Day. Bye.